those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Hiya, right, okay. If it's a quick video because I thought I'd show you, anyway, so I'm going to do it now and that's it. Well, we're in the living room now, I might add, so here we go with my fantastic games table. It's, I might add this for sale because I can't read really with it anymore. But anyway, never mind. All right, so like, here we are with the wing, right? As I explained yesterday, the wing is now all fixed in. This is the centre section I was on about. Your panels are all drilled ready. Okay, that's for the obvious, for the undercarriage. Here's the front here. So like I said yesterday, you pop it out, right? So your plate's in there. You put your plate in first. I'll show you a bit underneath after, but that plate's in, you put that in first, make sure it's all secure and lovely and glued. Uh, epoxy resin in, okay. All right, I'll cut to that. So you've got that in first, so once you've got that in and you've screwed, you've screwed it all in down, screw your screws in, make sure they're all in situ and everything's in the right place. Then this piece here I made, that'll be, you've obviously cut this already to the size you want for the fuse. And you offer it up when the wing's in place and you draw, turn the fuse round, obviously. I usually do it this way, you turn the fuse around and you just mark roughly round where the pegs are going to go and then drill it out okay, just drill it out right, and I might add, what I do then is just, once you've drilled it out and it fits in nice, which it does like you can see I angle the, angle the hole so that the bevel down if that makes sense, so you get the drill and just bevel it so that the angle goes down so that the plane's got a chance to slide the wings, see how it just slides in piece of cake nice and easy, okay so that's how you do it like that. Right, that's that bit. Uh, I mean, I showed you on that yesterday, so that's <coughs> right, the last video. So right, the only thing different on the fuse is obviously you strengthen these. I use Sina for these. These here and there, because that's already epoxied in. Okay, and on the inside, just a little trick that I'll show you. I'll show them here. Once you put the, um, the, uh, the, the, I don't know what they're properly called. They're just like grips, not bolts, but I don't know what they're called, but I'm sure somebody will tell me. What I tend to do is a little bit of Sino pieces over this, piece of old scrap ply, okay? Mainly because when you're putting the screws in, you don't want them to slip, you know, they might pop out or slip, so it just holds them in place, just in case, and they're epoxied in the actual screws themselves, but you never know through wear and tear, so it's just that, really, and it, again, reinforced. And yeah, that's basically it for this one. So, I'm rapidly falling in love with this little aeroplane because I think it's starting to look more and more pretty as I go along. So just to prove a point, what you do is it just slides in just like that. Job done. See? Perfect. So, next stage now is, I don't really know where to go next. I'm still wondering whether I've got to do the capping, which I don't know, because apparently I've had people tell me that there was no capping on the Sockwith camel. It was just a, uh, they just adhered it straight to the ribs. So, um, you know, but I'm going to find out for sure on tomorrow, actually. So. The next stage will be now is to go back. I've done everything on the wing it can possibly do for now. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to concentrate. I'll cover the. I'm going to cover the wing, sheet this bit. <coughs> yeah, sheet this bit and a little bit here. But I'm going to next thing I'm going to concentrate on is back on the fuse now. I shall put the sides on that come with the kit. Okay, I put them on and then I'm going to have a look because I'm going to fit the front on. That's the next stage with the fuse, just fit the front. So the engine's bigger than it should be, I'm going to put a 70 in, mainly because I want the power there to pull it. So I'm going to shoehorn that in. So that'll be the next thing to do, the bulkhead, the firewall and that. Otherwise, once that's on <coughs> and in place, I'll then, because you're going to have to drill holes here and you've got to make holes for the exhausts and everything else, the dummy exhausts that were on the real plane. But I'll come to that at a later date. Okay. All right, so you see that like I said in the previous video, because I've put these extra wires in on top of the um, elevators, right, to make it look more authentic to the real plane, these pieces of cap in here, it's just a bit of scrap bolster. It's so it makes it easier for you to cover the wing, because obviously if that's just sitting free, it's, you, you can't just cut a hole in the uh, fabric. So that rests on it, so you've got a nice, like, you know, you see? And obviously you do that there, and the same on the other side. And that, that's one extra on that wing. That's that wing ready now to be covered. Which I'm really pleased about. So that is really there. So that's the covering done for that. That'll be nice once that's ready. Oh, a bar from the middle bit. Like I explained in the previous video, in the middle bit, there's a bit of wood stain and there's a few rods and belt sods to go in there. You know, So you cover it all first, then you deal with that. Okay, that's just the way it is. 
that's what it's like on the real plane. Okay, so we've got that bit. So that's the uh, top wing. Then you come to the bottom wing, the extras on the bottom wing that I had to fettle with. Uh, sorry if I'm moving the camera too quick, but you see here, the my finger is there and there. These are not on the real plane because on the real plane, it has to have a hole in the wing and the, and the rigging goes straight through into the fuse. I thought about it in great detail and thought, well, for ease of like putting the plane together and also, you know, collecting the rigging up, it would be an awful lot of work and, and time consuming and for what, you know, you know, if you really wanted to make this, if it was a static model, never going to fly it, then I would have done it that way. But this is to be fly, flowing, so that's how I've done it there, onto the bottom wing. So when you put your uh, rigging on, it'll just clip straight onto that, the problem solved. Okay, so that's that bit, that was a bit of extra on there I had to do. Then we'll come to the tailplane, the dreaded tailplane. So I explained the tailplane. Right, the actual tailplane here is not on the plan, so I put extras here. Again, the, these bits are in purely to make it easy to cover. Okay, if you just had them bare, covering it would be a nightmare. This here, I might add, is not on the plan. This is to strengthen the tail, as flimsy as it is, but only I put this piece in, white glued it in. Okay, I'm going to be cleaning the glue off as I speak. There you go. And that's because when the rigging goes in, there's a set of rigging that goes from there to there. I'll go back a bit because I've got one hand, sorry. The rigging runs from there to there, okay, on both sides, up and under the, the tailplane. And obviously at the top, top of the tailplane down to somewhere here. That's why these extra bits are in, okay, here and here, where my fingers are and thumb. Okay, they were put in, they're not on the plan either, but that's for the rigging, okay. And obviously I covered that because it's easier to cover that before I glued on the tailplane and got it all straight up, okay. And then the rudder. The rudder itself is just self-explanatory, it's put on. Okay, so so I, that again is all ready now to be covered. Okay, so there are all the little sods, odds and sods to do before you start looking at covering it. And then the Pierre de, uh, de Resistance is, that I've been in millions of videos, I've finally finished it. So, Mr. Stan the Man Pilot, I won't put it in properly. But see, there you have it. So everything's on, I'll take it out of the way. So you can see. All right, separately. Machine guns in, pilots in. All right, the screen, this screen might have not been on the real ones, uh, real, the original Sotwith camels in World War One, but in the Shuttleworth collection, there's a screen there. So I've made that like I explained in previous videos. So it's all in, all glued, all done. But I might add, all oh, this screen is put in with epoxy resin because it doesn't damage the, if you use UVC or PVC, or whatever the bloody hell they call it, you who, right, it, it actually tarnishes the, the, the glass, like the plastic, so that's that, ready to go. Okay, and anyway, Mr. Stanley, man, he's happy. Plus some jelly. So obviously that's done. So that, all that, that's uh, ready to go in. That'll just drop straight in. There's no problem with that. Okay, that will drop in, lovely. Believe me. Right, so that's him out of the way. And that's basically uh, it, you know, so, um, there was nothing else really. Uh, there, are, there was a bit of fattling underneath here, but I saw it out, so that's not a problem. So the next major job, before any covering is the dummy engine. Now the dummy engine, I have made videos of it previous, but I've looked at them and thought, well, said I did promise from the beginning of this, I would do it from beginning to end. So I think I'll do, I'll, I'll show you how to do this dummy engine in the proper stages, you know, for the cow, it fits around the cow here. Okay, and I'll do it like I did with the guns and everything else, because I'm sure there's a few people out there appreciate that. Okay, so we'll go, that's the next job. So hopefully, being that it's now Thursday, uh, and I'm off tomorrow. Well, I won't really off tomorrow, but um, I might as well be. Um, I'll um, well, I'm not really. You know, so uh, thinking about it. So I'll try and do a bit tomorrow, and then Saturday and Sunday, I'm hoping to actually. I probably won't get it totally finished, but I will make a start on the covering. And again, with the covering, I might add. Some people have asked me, you know, the length of time it takes to make a model. Well, to be truthful, with this kit. And this model, we've never built one before and studying it and all. It probably would have made it in two thirds of the time it's taken me because obviously doing videos, like you see with the machine guns, you're making like Blue Peter style. This is, you know, bits to show him before and after and stuff like that, which have come in handy because whoever wants the plans to have a go at making this kit, you know, by themselves, I've put all the extra pieces in a bag. So that sort of helps them, you know, along the way. Whereas I didn't have that help. So, you know, I mean, to jump it. You know, to make it a bit easier for them to build it. And so far, nobody seems keen enough to do it. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> so, 
But there must be on the Bolsa model site, there must be a builder out there who's interested in taking it on. And I don't want nothing for it. I'll actually send them free to anyone who wants to have a go at doing it. And if they want any, all the videos are there, so it must be really easier than the way I had it. Okay? So anyway, I'll stop blabbing now because that's enough. Alright, so. Hey, tails. Alright, so uh, the next job is the dummy engine and then the covering. And then when that's all covered, then the rigging and that's it. Job done. And obviously when it's covered you've got to spray it, but that's another video in itself. Okay? Alright then. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Jelly. Those magnificent men, those magnificent men, those magnificent men.